It's day 15 and we're going to learn all about loops, specifically a while loop, which will make your code repeat itself based on a condition that you set. So we've just finished building a game, but it was really annoying to have to click run every time we wanted to play a game. This would make a terrible video game. You're not going to be spending $60 in this in the PlayStation Store if every time you want to start a new round you have to reinsert the disk and load the software. A while loop is something that can do exactly that for us. It can loop code depending upon a condition. What's a condition? It's the same thing we gave to the if statement. It is a question that as long as the question is true, the computer will loop the code. How does that work? Let's give it a go. This program is a very simple counting problem. We've created a variable called counter which starts at zero and our while loop here has the condition while the counter is less than 10. That means as long as the variable counter is less than 10, it will repeat any code that is at least one indent in from the while loop itself. Once again, you can follow that lovely dotted line there to see exactly which code is going to execute. Now we have to be very careful here because we always run the risk with a loop of getting ourselves stuck in an infinite loop. An infinite loop is the worst possible case for us because what that will mean is the computer will loop the code until the end of time. You need to make sure you change the value of that variable within the loop in order to get to the condition Otherwise, it will loop forever. I'm doing that with this last line of code, counter plus equals one. That is a nice bit of code that just says, add one to counter for me, please, and save it. So let's see how this works. You'll see almost straight away there that the computer has started at zero, printed it out, added one, and continued looping through that code until it got to the number 10. Now, why didn't it print out the number 10? Well, that's due to the condition. I've said whilst it's less than 10. So the moment that the value of counter reached 10, it didn't do the code anymore and will then jump to the next unindented line after the while. Pause the video and try this for yourself. Why not extend it to print to the number 100? Go crazy. Entertain yourself. Common mistakes, what can go wrong? Well, I've removed that bottom line from my code and let's see what happens this time. Okay, uh, it's not stopped. The program's actually just continuously printing out zero. And that's not really what I want at all. I've actually created an infinite loop here. The computer's resources is being used to print out zero, constantly. And that's not what I want. This loop will never stop. Z the value of counter is never going to change. So that condition, whilst counter is less than 10, will always be true. The only way to fix this is to manually stop the program with a big stop button and then adding back in counter plus equals one. How about this problem then? It all looks pretty good. We've got a condition. We're adding one to the counter. Let's run it. Well, nothing happened. And can you spot the issue this time? It's that condition. It's the wrong way around. I've told the computer to start counter at zero and whilst it's greater than six to loop the code. Now counter isn't greater than six to start with. So that code never runs. To fix it, we need to sort that inequality out and then the program should run as expected. But a while loop doesn't just need to be about numbers. You can also loop it based on text or pretty much any arbitrary value. In this example here, we've got a text value called exit and the while condition just says whilst that is not equal to yes. So as long as I haven't typed yes into exit, this program will loop printing out a party face emoji and then asking me again. Let's see it in action. So I'm going to start by saying no, no, nah, maybe, 
And then eventually I say yes, and the program ends. Now we know the program's ended because we've got our little Replit logo popping up at the bottom of the console there. Now notice, we do need to be able to change the variable inside the loop. That's why line four is specifically asking the user to type something in with input within the loop. Without that, or if I accidentally unindent it, remember what's happening now is the computer is only repeating line three, is I now have an infinite amount of party smiley faces popping out of my console for me, which isn't quite what I'm looking for. Always remember to change the variable that controls the condition within the loop itself. Once again, I've given you a broken piece of code. Please pause the video now and try and fix it for me. Okay, challenge time. Today, we're gonna build a really simple kids game. You're going to write a program that loops and inside that loop, asks our user what animal they want to hear the sound of. If they pick an animal, it should repeat the sound back to them. For instance, a cow goes moo, a sheep goes bar, a hamster sort of goes, I'll stop, I'll stop. But you get the idea. Now, this sort of easy children's game is nice to produce and nice to build using that structure. Here's a few hints for you. You're gonna need that while loop to deal with the exit condition. Make sure that inside the while loop, we have a bunch of nested ifs, which takes a bit of thinking about. But more than that, what you will need to do is also ask the user inside the loop if they want to exit. And if they say yes, you should stop the program entirely. Now you may be questioning why you're building this. This exact program, this exact logic is available as a skill on Alexa, which has been downloaded millions of times. So you can build something that has been downloaded millions of times by children all over the world. Pause the video and build that. Don't forget when you're finished to share your work by publishing it or sharing it with the hashtag replit 100 days of code on social media. Get some informed opinions. Why not get young people or the young at heart around the world to run your code. Today, we built while loops with simple conditions. Tomorrow, I'm gonna show you the biggest while loop cheat in the world that makes it much more manageable and much easier to deal with and less likely to end up in an infinite loop.